Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to get Spotify and Discord on your Steam Deck, and also how to use them in the background while you're playing your games without it interrupting your game or causing any frame droppage or anything like that. And it's actually super easy to do. I was actually able to do it without a tutorial myself, just kind of tinkering with it last night. And I was looking through YouTube today just to see if maybe there are any tutorials out there for this, and there is a couple of them. But I felt maybe this might be the quickest way to do it, so here we go. The first thing you want to do is put your Steam Deck into desktop mode. The easiest way to do that is hit the Steam button, scroll all the way down, go to power, click the power, and then go to desktop mode. Once you're here, you're going to see your little cursor here, and you can either use your touchpad or your analog stick. And we're going to go down to the little store here, which is the discover option. We're going to click into there. Once that opens up, we're going to go up to the search bar here. If the keyboard does not pop right away, you're going to hit Steam and the X button together, and that will automatically bring up your keyboard. And then we're going to type in the word Spotify here. Sometimes it takes a little bit with this finicky keyboard, but once you do, we got that. We're just going to click enter. It's going to search. And as you can see, Spotify shows up right here on the list. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to remove it. So you're gonna click on install right here, wait for it to install. And once it is done, we're actually going to exit out of here. We're gonna go down to our start menu and we're gonna to go to all applications. And you should be able to scroll down from all applications and you should see in here somewhere uh, the word Spotify. So we're just gonna scroll down here. And there she is. And then from here, what I like to do is I'm gonna right click and I like to save it to my desktop. So we're gonna head add to desktop. And once you've done that, it will show up right here, ready to go. Now you're gonna actually do the exact same thing for your Discord. So again, we're gonna to go to the discover area. Once that pops up, you're gonna click into the search bar, Steam button and X together to bring up the keyboard and you're type in Discord, hit search, exit out of there. And then you're gonna click on install next to Discord at the top here. Of course, I already have it, so that's why it's just removed from me. Once you have it installed, you can do the exact same thing to add it to your desktop by going down to the start button, going to all applications, and then just scrolling down until you see Discord, uh, which is right here. Right click on it, add to desktop. Easy as that. Now, once you've had these both installed, you're going to want to access them from the desktop mode first to get logged in with your information. So I recommend logging into Spotify and then logging into Discord so it works and it's the way you want it. So, for instance, once you get logged in, this is what Discord will look like. And there we are. And as you can see, it is the full desktop version of Discord. You can even scroll in here and everything, access all of your Discord channels with ease. Pretty neat. And I haven't really had any issues with it. And yes, this does work in the case of if you wanted to join a voice chat, you can use the onboard microphone and speakers or using a Bluetooth headset, of course, and you can have it running in the background while in a game. So you could use this for some type of voice chat with friends if you are playing multiplayer games. So that is Discord for you. I will also open up Spotify to show you what that looks like once you get fully logged in. All right, and this is Spotify. Again, it is the full desktop version. So you're going to have all access to your playlist and everything like that, and you can play music straight from here. Yes, it will come out of your speakers, and no, I'm not going to play music because it will be copyrighted. But that being said, you can use a Bluetooth headset as well with this. And yes, it does run perfectly in the background when playing games. Now, the last step here, and the, honestly, the most important step, is if for some reason you go into the game mode, which is the regular version of the Steam Deck, and you go into your Steam library and you don't see Discord and Spotify, the easiest way to get them to show up is to actually open up Steam in the desktop mode here. Go to your game library and you're gonna go down to add a game and then add a non Steam game. And from this list, you should see Spotify and Discord in here. You wanna select both of those, hit add selected programs, and then you can exit out of here. And once you do that, you can go back into your regular return to gaming mode and we're going to check out to see if it shows up in our library. OK, so once you've logged in, we're actually going to go to our full library here and you'll see there will be a new section called non steam. Obviously, I have a ton of other stuff downloaded here, so I have more than what you'll see. But you should see Discord and Spotify as two new programs. And right from here, yes, you can access them. So let's start up Spotify, for instance, just hit play should launch right into the program. 
Now, if you're like me, by default, none of your controls will work. You won't be able to use the touchpad to look around or your joystick or to select anything and know how to fix that. You want to hit the Steam button. You want to go over to controller settings, hit A, hit A again. And then from here, I switch my template to web browsing. And this will not change your layout for every single game on your Steam Deck. This is game by game basis, thankfully. So it will save your progress or it will save what you choose. So you want to set to web browser, just click A, and then you can exit back out of it. And there you go. Now you can actually go through here just like you could on the desktop version and scroll through all your playlists without any issue. Now I am going to show you an example of how this works with playing music in the background and playing a game just to prove that it does work and it's pretty cool. So I'm going to try to find some music that will not be DMCA strikeable, hopefully some game music from, let's see, Resident Evil 4. So I'm going to double click on that to start playing and I'm going to turn it up. All right, I'm just going to move this towards my mic so you can hear it. All right, that's kind of creepy music, but uh, let me try to find one that's not creepy. All right, this one works. So you can hear the music is playing. So let's jump into a game. So while this is playing, hit the Steam button. We're going to go back. We're going to go to library. And now let's go to one of our installed games. Uh, let's just do Doom, Doom Eternal. I mean, it's a pretty well optimized game for the Steam Deck. I will say uh, just a clear little notice here that not every game will work flawlessly with these other programs running in the background. If it's more of a heavier game to run on the Steam Deck, such as like the Spider-Man Marvel game that just got brought over to Steam, that one takes a lot more power to run efficiently. So if you are running other programs such as Spotify or Discord in the background, your mileage may vary in terms of performance, so just keep that in mind. This will not work for every single game. All right, I don't know if my microphone can pick up the music in the background, but we are in the game of Doom Eternal, running at 60 frames a second. It seems to be pretty smooth. I'm able to kill some people here, some demons. All right, and while this is running, I'm gonna move this up to the microphone so you guys can hear that I'm still playing music in the background from Spotify. All right, I'm hoping the microphone picked that up. I honestly can't tell at the moment until I go into the editing room. But yes, we are playing Spotify and Doom at the exact same time. And here's the really cool part. So even while you're in the game, you can hit the Steam button, switch down to Spotify, jump right back in here and change the song. So if you don't like the song that's playing, you're not, you know, you're not SOL. You can just jump right into Spotify, change the song, then go back to your game. It's pretty neat. So just like a full desktop PC experience, you can have multitasking and yeah, multiple things running in the background. And of course, this does count for Discord as well. Now, I have actually never attempted to run all three at the same time, but uh, let's try it. So we have Spotify running right now. We have Doom Eternal. And let's try running Discord. All right, Discord is launching. I still hear Spotify music playing. And this is the same issue that I had before with Spotify. So we're going to go into the Discord controller settings. We're going to go up to current layout and we're just going to go to web browser. And there we go. So it looks like it is fully functional. Let's jump back into our game. Yep, all still working. So we got Spotify music playing. A lot of ammo in the game right now. <laughs> we got Spotify running. We got Discord running and Doom Eternal all running at the same time. And as you can see, it's not affecting the performance of the game at all. Pretty amazing. Alrighty, everybody, so that is running Spotify in Discord at the same time, running in the background while playing a game on your Steam Deck. If there's anything I didn't go over in the video or something that may have been a little bit confusing, let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I also do want to give a huge thank you to everybody for all the love and support for my previous video. 
That was literally the first video on this channel I've uploaded and gotten over 1,000 views in under 24 hours. And I think it just cracked almost 7,000 views and it's been like 48 hours. So you guys are insane. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I will definitely be making more videos on the Steam Deck, of course. If you have any ideas or questions of things you want me to check out on the Steam Deck, or maybe things you're curious about before purchasing yourself, let me know as well in the comment section below and I will definitely shout you out in the next video if I do choose your idea. Uh, for that but yeah with that be like to support as always I truly appreciate it everybody thank you so much for all the love and support lately and all the new subs and with that subscribe so you don't miss the next one and we'll hopefully see you in the next one peace out